Okay, welcome back, in this movie we will apply some materials on the models in our scene. The materials we expect to find here are Adobe Standard Materials and Substance Materials. Let's check what Adobe says about its standard materials. Okay, I don't know what the meaning of that is. So, let's discover together. Let's apply this matte material to the plate on the table. Pick a color, a nice one really. I just have the idea that I want to make the logo glow, so I will do it. I'm done with Adobe standard materials, let's try substance one. We can toggle the list or grid view to see better. We can pick material from one model by material picker, then click Alt and apply to another model. I changed my mind so I went for some plastic material for the bottles. Look how crappy and amazing this view is. We need to save every second because who knows. Nani? Oh, see the little encoder icon there? We click it to generate a preview of what we applied. You can change resolution and have the option to reduce noise or not. Remember that Adobe standard material? If you double click it it opens in Photoshop. There you can edit and back to dimension. You can go back and forth as much as you want. Let's see how it goes down there with the substance material. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have no idea what I'm doing now. But I was trying to make an interesting new look out of the material. But I forgot to turn on the battens and white lines or whatever. Anyway I've rectified this mistake, still don't know what I'm doing. But I'm playing and getting great results, that's ridiculous. Okay, just improvise and you will even get a better result than me. The point here is the substance materials are way better than Adobe standards in terms of editing and manipulation. If you want more materials, just head Adobe Stock to get more Adobe standard materials. Or you can go for the Substance Source website and pick what you want. I downloaded all free materials from a Substance Source, and you can find it in Course Project Files. To create your own materials, you can make it alive with Photoshop using 3D filters, Hump Map or Normal Map, but I won't do it, because we know what happens when using Photoshop 3D. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I prefer to go and learn Substance Painter software to create well-crafted realistic material. Believe me, you will be amazed by the result, but it's a different large topic for a different day. We can rely on what we have now with no worries. Keep experimenting and improvising. See you next.